you know, I'm walking up this beautiful lane track and I can't think of anything better. I'm actually absolutely saturated with warmth, a lovely, warm, gentle breeze. The fragrance is from the I turn the turn that off. Right, look at there's some deer. Look, some deer there. Quite a lot of them. I don't know if they're all stags. I don't know if they're rutting. The rutting season is sort of happening. They might all be stags, so they gather, don't they? And then they have to fight for dominance. Yeah, I saw them. I saw them. I can't zoom in anymore in that. I'm sure this used to be much better at zoom in. They're probably very small deer, aren't they, those ones? Well, at least I've seen some. At least I've seen some, sure. They're always over that area. Um, up near um, Wecombe, above there in the plantation. Right, folks, this should be the way, Bick Noller Coombe. And over the top will be Paradise Coombe, near those trees. Down here, we've got Bick Noller Post, which is leading down. From there, you go down to Holford. Shepherd's Coombe, Hodder's Coombe, or you do Lady's Edge. But, um... There's the post. What mistake I did the other day, I came from the post and went down there. And that's Weacon Hill, Beacon Hill. This is actually, um, <coughs> I think this might be Weacon Hill. And this is Off ages ago. I bumped into that person earlier. They would have said, Oh, you're on the right track. Go. Oh. You're on the right track now. Here we go. This is um, Big Noller Coo. There were some tracks leading off. Well, I never found any tracks when I was up um, three weeks ago over there. Uh, linking up with this path. <laughs> there must be other ways, because the horses know how to do it. There must be other ways that link up. <laughs> now when I get near the stream, that's when I'm going to start eating my cheese and tomato. I want to get down a bit lower and I might take my jumper off again in a minute. Yeah. Might see some deer again. Never know. Yeah, what? where I went wrong coming the other way the other week, I could have carried on and come down this track and I would have ended, I would have recognised it, see? But I didn't. I turned off thinking, oh, I better go over there and see where Bicknoller Post was. I was a bit disorientated. But if I carried on and I got here, I would have said to myself, here it is, that's Bicknoller. See? I could have come down ages ago, down there. It's getting to know it all. I think it's easier in the winter when there's not so much vegetation.
Hello, Holly Tree. You're all in bud, aren't you? Getting ready with berries. It's like a carpet walking down here. I tell you, what, enough hard work coming up at. <laughs> now I'll probably have a, another couple of weeks rest before coming up here again. Because the thing is, I do the mendips as well. And I've done a lot of big hikes in the Mendips. So I, I'm trying to fit these walks in, these big hikes, while we, are, while we still have the long... Well, it's not long evenings now, it's late afternoons. And I will not... I don't want to get over... get off at West Bagborough. I don't, I don't need to do that now. Not for a long time, because I've done it now for this year. Uh, it is a long hike. And um, there's a lot I want to do over this side. <laughs> Obviously, I love Holford, so I, I feel wrong if I haven't visited it, you know? Like today, I've, and the time before, I had to just wave to it. And, you know, there, there isn't time or energy, really. Sometimes it's just physical energy. I've, I'm tired by the time I've done all this. I mean, I got up at five, no, t half past five. I fell asleep at four o'clock, you know. Then I had to get up. Oh, that was hard. I was I really wanted to sleep then. It was terrible really. Right, so we got a little bit of water. And that'll form up with a bigger stream down further. Might be boggy, we never know. My feet might get wet again. Right, I'm just going to stop a minute. Take some pictures. Right, it might be a bit jumpy because it's uneven ground and I'm going downhill. Um, i just do a little bit of videoing going down Bicknoller Coombe. When I come over again to Bicknoller, there's a by the gate before you come up here. As you come up from the village, go through the gate and you can turn left and there's another walkway um, not the Coleridge Walk it's sort of opposite the Coleridge Walk and it takes you around to Paradise Coombe area and some ancient stones or something or round things so I'm um, that's going to be my mission to do that I'm going to do it in reverse. I'll do it that way up. And explore some of the lower areas in and out of the woods and that. Yeah, I'm looking out for the deer. Then the sheep are on the hill where the deer normally are. Um, so I imagine the that big group of deer I saw earlier um, over Lower Hair Nap area I reckon um, the ones that are here have gone over there they've been rounded up by the stags because they've got to get ready for their rutting <sighs> yeah when it gets to like six hours of walking yeah, I start to feel you know, I've had quite a big hike really because I mean, it ain't just been walking the park, it hasn't just been walking flat. It has put a lot of pressure on your ankles, your knees, and the base of your feet. Um, now, this little bit here looks lovely, doesn't it? Nice and velvety and soft as I go deeper down into the coombe. I can see lots of sheep on the hills. Um, we might see deer yet. Like I said, this is where they normally are in this bold plat place. But uh, they might be down. There might be another place that looks like that, but further down where they might be today. I couldn't see them the other time I came over when I was looking from a distance. Now this is good on the feet. This is a good comb to walk down, everyone. This is a lovely comb. Just looking back. Even walking up, I know it is a hike, it's a long way, it does take a while, but um, <clears throat> Crocombe Coombe 
which is like a road, is uh, terrible. That's the worst one. More videos to share, everyone. <laughs> oh dear. I got family tree stuff to do. I normally really, really, really cut down on the videos and the stuff very soon. Once I've forked out my subscription, I think, God bloody use it, Sheila. You're paying all that money for your own stuff. Basically, I find all the stuff, put it on this database, and they charge me to see it. I do use their resources. I do use their resources. And loads of other stuff I use. They are a good library. Ancestry for stuff. And being a member, you get access, you see. It's got its benefits. But of course, it does cost money. But it's not a dear hobby, really. It's about £180 a year I pay. I can remember when it was £25. I can remember when it was 25 quid to subscribe to Ancestry 20 odd years ago. And there was a lot more stuff that you could have. Well, there was a lot of stuff, different stuff. Over and out, take some.